Online dating. Have you ever had a scary first contact? <gasps> yes. I talked to this guy on the phone. We met online. He had like a $200,000 car. I come down my steps and I see this little gnome like come from around the car. I was towering over him in heels. The guy chased me and screaming at me. No way. Yes. <laughs> Bonjour. I'm Simon Marcel, romance expert. As a Frenchman, I love to talk love. J'aime parler d'amour. So I'm pulling couples off the streets and into my bed at the Broadway Mall in New York to get uncomfortably candid about their relationships. Have you ever, you know, saw somebody online, a profile you liked, and then you finally met him, it was not at all what you thought it was? Yes. I sat down across a guy, he had a googly eye, where there was one eye that just kept going somewhere else the whole time. And I think in the pictures, he had sunglasses. As I'm walking into the restaurant, I hear somebody calling me, and it, he looks completely different than his photo. Oh, different. He looked like Mr. Bean. <laughs> he said that he was, like, six feet tall. I'm 5'7". He was shorter than me. Did you call him out on this? You were? Yeah, you did. I did. I said, you said you were six feet tall and he goes I am I go we can go get a measuring tape I think she did something great. If you talk about it, take the elephant in the room, then it's not a topic anymore. It's the unspoken. It's the right. fact that we pretend it's not there, but it's there. Have you ever been ghosted on? No notes, no explanation. Oh, sure. Cool. We went on two dates, and after that, I never saw her again. It sucks. It sucks, right? Yeah. It's not a great feeling. If you don't have the decency to text somebody the day after you go out with them, right. that says a lot about them as a person. Fair enough. What about you ghosting some guys? I do it all the time. Why? Maybe because you don't know how to end it. Got a lot going on. It happened to me a couple of times, actually. Really? Guys ghosted on you. We're all guilty of it. Just like we say hello, we have to say bye-bye. Everybody needs an ending. As we say in France, il n'y a pas d'amour sans preuve d'amour. There is no love without proof of love. Au revoir. As a Frenchman, I love to talk love. J'aime parler d'amour. So I'm pulling couples off the streets and into my bed at Chicago's Block 37 to get uncomfortably candid about their relationships.